literally using just this much kanjusi karke kuch such 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 a pickle I'm going all the way for like a 45 minute meeting. <laughs> As you can see, there's a whole lot of rare beauty. I also need the sponsors to kind of keep things going. Hi, hello, good morning. Welcome to a new vlog. I am looking the side because I am looking for what foundation I should use today. I feel like I've been on tinted moisturizers for a little while and I love my tinted moisturizers but that full coverage look that a good foundation gives is still so irreplaceable. My skin is already prepped. I never start my makeup without a good prepping and uh, I want to tell you something by the way. I realized this when I was washing my like washing in the sense of wet wet wetening dampening my beauty blenders to use that I don't think I've ever mentioned this on um, YouTube on the vlogs that we actually have for the first time ever introduced two standard discount coupons on verified.in I don't mean to start this video with like a my brand plug but I just have never mentioned it so I feel like I should if you ever order uh, products on verified worth 3000 rupees or more use the code love15 and use the code love20 if your cart is worth 6000 rupees or more to get 15 or 20 percent off respectively um, it's just something I want to put out there because it does get used quite a bit you can see it in the verified communications in general and I don't don't know why I haven't mentioned it in my vlogs it is a relatively new code we only started this at some point in March I want to say uh, we don't do any first-time customer you know codes or anything like that at least as yet purely because the brand I feel has already you know kind of earned its credibility and we can't keep doing discounts um, we're still a small brand now in that sense and so because of that we can't just keep doing discounts we do discounts and I plan the discounts around when we hit certain targets and when we think okay this is a way of saying thank you when we've hit a target or crossed a target or something like that we don't like I can't just keep randomly putting discounts on the website it's just not something that fits in our budget and you know to try and stay profitable that's just a constant challenge I got my period yesterday so little P has come out to visit by P you can think of it as pimple you can think of it as pain you can think of it as period you can think of it as whatever you want this house labs foundation it's so good it's this one by the way it's the triclone skin tech foundation and i wear the shade reaching out to it after so long that i don't remember b13 um by the way i don't know if it's up before this or if i'm gonna post it after this because i still haven't recorded it i will probably record it today or tomorrow my big fat rare beauty package is here um if you watch my vlogs regularly you know that i had a little bit of rare beauty packages coming down customs getting stuck this that blah 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 it came down with a relative who was flying down from america and it came while i was in chennai pondicherry on that trip hope you've seen those vlogs and uh, those were some good like that was a good trip i really hope you've seen those vlogs uh, <clears throat> so yeah where i am at is that I want to sit and film that like kind of like a rare beauty haul maybe even a try on haul depending on everything inside I've only taken a glimpse I didn't really deep dive into anything because I thought I would do that on camera hopefully you have subscribed to the channel and turned your notifications on for my channel because I would love for you to watch my content more I have been so grateful for all the love and support and everything on YouTube in general and especially lately um, it's just been terrific. It's been terrific, 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 honestly. And I've just been enjoying more than ever. I feel more connected than ever. All the good feelings. Okay, let me give you the full-fledged POA for today before I go into talking about 10,000 different things that I already did, I realize. Um, I'll tell you what the POA is, okay? Plan of action. I am glamming right now. I have a bunch of videos to film, uh, not for sponsorships and stuff, but for like videos in the sense concept ideas that I'm doing here for YouTube. Um, I hope that you are enjoying my attempt 
Um, I think it's a, been a pretty decent attempt. Now go ahead and leave this emoji, the little tick mark, if you think it's a good attempt. Um, and go ahead and leave the cross emoji if you think it's not a good attempt, my god. Um, <laughs> the reality check I'm about to get in the comments on this video. Um, if, uh, if you think that it's been a good mix of concept videos, like pre-filmed videos along with vlogs, because I am trying my best. So the idea is to film some content today. And then from there to go ahead and um, I want to try and make it for Iftari in time at mom's today. In present day today, I am not fasting. You know, I got my period yesterday, I just mentioned. So I can't be fasting during my period. Um, however, I hope I go to Iftari. And the reason I'm saying I hope is because once I come back from Iftari, I will have a small window to change and get ready for a school friend's wedding. Today is her Sankeet and tomorrow is her wedding reception. It's at Taj Lines End, so it's quite close by. And I am really hoping to make it for both functions, question mark, fingers crossed, um, because I also don't want to miss Yiftari at the same time. Even though I'm not fasting, I do like the idea of sitting with family and having Yiftari together. So I want to do that. I also need to coordinate with my school friends on uh, who's getting there, what time, and all of those kind of things. So it's content day, it's wedding day. I have to do a few calls and admin kind of things. And uh, I also, by the way, announced my first giveaway ever on the WhatsApp channel this morning. So if you have not joined the WhatsApp channel, this is your cue to go ahead and come join it because I will be doing exclusive giveaways and real-time updates on where I am and what I'm doing over there. It's just the quickest way of doing it, honestly. I've also started some level of planning for a, for, for a summer content trip, summer travel trip, whatever you want to call it, question mark. But I'm saying planning and I'm not committing to it wholeheartedly as yet because there are a few things that I will know work-wise and launches-wise and things like that only by me. So while I'm planning things in my head, the real uh, putting it to paper, making bookings and all that will only start next month. I'm going to go faster if I just shut my mouth and keep doing my makeup now. And I'll come back to you in some time. Wow, those were lots of updates. Me talking for almost eight minutes there. <music> for this as you can see there's a whole lot of rare beauty goodness sitting over here next to me i mentioned to you earlier at some point that there was pr on the way to me from the brand and i'm so grateful to receive so many things from them oh my god anam at 1819 when she started the blog would be screaming if she knew she would one day receive pr from Sel from selena gomez's beauty brand that is insane okay Let's go ahead and unbox this together, this set of PR. I have literally two things over here that I ordered from America that also came along with my relative. This stuff is all PR. This obviously, like, I ordered. Um, they are these Impress Kiss lashes that I've been wanting to try. I've seen so many YouTubers rave about this, so I ordered for one natural and one voluminous or something like that yeah one voluminous and one natural here you go these are basically supposed to go on the insides of your eye and they just stick there you don't need glue they go on so i wanted to give these a go i actually was looking for these when i was in the us um last year but i couldn't find them anywhere they were perpetually sold out got them now so Apart from this, I had also ordered a camera case for my camera as well as a different type of a tripod. Those two things are with my relative, one with the relative who's come down, jinke paas reh gaya wo galti se, and one to America mein hi chhut gaya, to whenever they come next, tab wahan se aayega. This stuff is long overdue. Oops. Let's dive into all of this rare beauty stuff. Should we do makeup first or skincare first? I know that they have lesser skews in their skincare, so perhaps let's get into that first. First things first, we have their Find Comfort Hydrating Hand Cream over here. Oh my god, I'm so excited to be doing this because I have been seeing this stuff online for so long. It is a cute... Is this a mini? It feels like a mini or is this the full size? 
No, but it's 53 ml, so it's definitely the full size. I know that the cap opens up like this because I saw a video of Selena showing everyone how to. And then you kind of. I don't want to use too much right now because I just don't. I just want to test it, and I know this collection isn't available in India as yet. That smells so nice. It actually feels like. It smells like just calming if that makes sense that is really 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 nice and i love the packaging i feel like whether it was the color or the fact that they went for something like this doing stuff like this that is exclusive to the brand is also very expensive fyi i can tell you that so this is goals and uh, off the bat texture and smell really really nice obviously it's going to be a whole lot of first impressions so i'm going to need to use things more to be able to come to you with a um, thorough review so leave a comment down below if you want me to do that one sec there's a tape on it so i'm just taking that off over here we've got the hydrating body lotion from the rare beauty comfort range let's go ahead and how does this pop up i haven't seen any video okay i've popped it up my left hand is getting everything i should put something on the right hand I'm literally using just this much conjusi karke because mujhe se first impressions karne hai, main properly use karke review karungi. Similar fragrance, very. I'm so specific about the kind of fragrances I like in my skincare. Makeup me I don't like any fragrances, but the thing with skincare is I feel like if it's a nice, relaxing, mild fragrance, it works. A lot of it can be overbearing sometimes. This is that very like if you're going to go look for the fragrance, it's there. Like it's mild enough for that that if I didn't go to actively smell it, it wouldn't bother me. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be like, oh God, why is there so much of a smell around? That does feel really, really nice. It's definitely very rich in texture. I'm going to apply this before I go to bed tonight, like all over my body and see how I feel tomorrow morning. So let's look out for that little check-in. Okay, I'm assuming the third skincare product might be in this because I know they launched three things. They launched the hand cream, body lotion, and that pen um, it, that I know I've seen. Okay, there's makeup in here. I'm seeing a lot of makeup. So I guess I'm done with the skincare. They sent me two items in the skincare, which is also, I'm very grateful for. I just wanna put that out there. There's a lot of makeup in here. Let's go ahead and empty this out. Oh my god, they did not hold back. Wow, wow. This is a lot, 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 lot of makeup. And the pouch is so cushiony and cute. It's something I will 100% use. Um, I'm so glad I didn't leave this for one of my other like PR unboxing videos because I feel like this deserves a moment of its own really truly. Let me quickly segregate things into categories like lip oils and this and that so I can actually do some swatches for you as well. Lip oil, lip oil, lip oil, lip oil, lip oil, lip oil. That's a lot of lip oils. One more lip oil. I love it. Concealer concealer foundation they did ask me my shades i have tried their tinted moisturizer the rare car you know i use all the time and even concealer but in the concealer that i have i shared with them the shade that i already have uh, apart from which i also told them that i feel like this is a little bit yellow on me so i feel like there's a mix of things over here let's figure it out foundation positive light tint prime i'm just segregating still okay okay I hope I haven't missed anything. Brows. Wow. Wait, what? Rare Beauty launched its brows as well? I didn't know. Eyeshadow stick. Eyeshadows. Eyeshadows. Wow. This is a lot of Rare Beauty. Gel eyeliner. Oh my god. Woo. Guys, I'm trying really hard not to let my excitement like cloud the flow of this video, but this is really, really, this is a very generous PR package. This is a very, very, very generous PR package. Okay, I think I've literally segregated everything at this point. There's another really cute pouch over here as well. So two pouches. We've got a four-in-one mist, a full-sized one over here. We've got an always an optimist illuminating primer over here, which naturally I can't use or swatch at the moment. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lip oils. 
थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू लाइक दिस इज ए वेरी जेनरस पी आर पैकेज लेट मी जस्ट क्विकली गो एड एंड स्वॉच वॉन टू वर्क फैम ओवर योर आई फील लाइक अमून मेक सो मच कॉन्टेंट विद रेयर ब्यूटी इन द नेक्स्ट सम टाइम ए बिकॉज इट्स अ ग्रेट ब्रांड आई शॉप एवरी सिंगल थिंग आई ओन फ्रॉम रेयर ब्यूटी बारिंग दिस आई हैव शॉप एंड आई डू जेन्यूनली रियली रियली लाइक दैम एज अ ब्रांड दिस लिप ऑयल and i feel so like wow they've sent such a generous package this is a lovely coral tone it is called joy it's such a nice name i love all their names also let's swatch this let's also swatch this lovely shade called hope which looks like a nice soft nude ish pink oh it's so lovely it's a really really nice shade for a lip oil um i'm going to go ahead and swatch these separately and maybe do shorts or reels for you guys for like a proper proper swatches ye to main filhal aise excitement mein kar rahi hu 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 eye shadow sticks over here listen i'm going to keep saying thank you because this is a very very truly very very generous pr package this over here in my hand is the shade integrity let's go ahead and try at least a couple of shades aise thode se swatches kar lete hain This is what they look like. Even the packaging feels really nice. Stop it! Oh my God, there's so much pigment in there, and I'm literally just sitting in natural light. My light is over here. It's not even on. I haven't needed to put it on today. Let's swatch just one more shade, adventure. What does adventure look like? Okay, this is what the shade is probably going to be a brown. Love that. It'll be natural for me. <gasps> It's going on so so soft and buttery. They've given me two concealers, two eighty and two ninety n over here. I think the one I currently have is two ninety n. So I'm glad that I have one more option to kind of um go ahead and try out. I also have the liquid touch weightless foundation from them over here in the shade 270 and I'm not going to swatch that right now. Oh, I have three foundations. This is a very generous PR package. My god, this is truly a very generous PR package. I hope someday we can do stuff like this for verified honestly. They've sent me 310W, 290N and 270N. There are three over here, not just one. It's apart from the foundations, the three foundations, the two concealers, the primer, the glow spray, the 67 lip oils, the 56 eye shadow sticks. My god, I'm still not even halfway through. They've also sent me the positive light hydrating tint in 30N. This I've used before if it's the same one. Yeah. And I really really like this. So this is like a restock for me. I have two eye shadow palettes from them over here. We've got True to Myself and Come to Play. Let's open these up and see what they look like on the inside. I haven't tried any of their eyeshadow palettes. In fact, I swatched some when I was in the US. Uh but the one that I wanted and I don't remember which one it was. And usi time pe kuch naya wala to launch hua tha. But us time pe when I wanted it was out of stock, but I did swatch the testers over there. I remember that. <laughs> this color story is beautiful and I feel like this um shape for the palette um the way the pigments are inside is also very very unique i obviously don't know how they're going to go on the lids and all of that so stay tuned for reviews and first impressions and that kind of stuff cuz that's definitely coming this is the second one it is no likes needed oh oh that's the shade name sorry the palette name is came to play um let's see what this color story is like i think it was that one that i was trying to buy cuz this one seems completely new to me I hope my memory is serving me correctly. Again, another beautiful color story. Look at that white in the middle. My God, I'm tempted, huh? I told myself I won't do this in the middle, and I'll do proper first impressions. But एक तरीके में ये भी वही हुआ ना? Oof. Oh wow. Okay, so it's not like just a shimmer. It like sticks on. It's like a pigment um that just kind of stays and adds. Ah, uh, that's beautiful. That reflect is lovely. and it's a plain white base so whatever color you apply this on the niche wala color will really get that reflect um let's also try i've got three gel liners over here in the shades compassion true black and true brown i'm curious as to what compassion is 
because obviously those two are brown and black this is what the component looks like i've obviously taken the cap off butter 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 that's all i can say this is going on so beautiful ah! <laughs> um then i've got i had no idea that they had a brow harmony lifting lifting flexible lifting gel so we have a brow gel over here it's clear and um, i also have their their mascara i've tried and i love 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 i have the mini of it in fact if i remember correctly i bought this mini and tried it on camera itself for the first time and went on to use it a whole bunch of times in my saudi vlogs because rare beauty wasn't in india at that time um and then we have am i missing anything i hope i'm not missing anything because like there's so much um and i'm so grateful for this much pr i have to say and i want to thank you guys also cuz you've supported me for so long to enable me to be in a position to be getting all of this pr so i want to show gratitude to both both the brand as well as you guys like no creator is where they are without the support of their audience their watchers their virtual family whatever you want to see yourselves as so me it's always internet fam um i think i i, I think we've covered everything oh there's precision pencil sorry i missed that um we have precision pencils in soft black and deep brown brow harmony precision pencils so again these are brow pencils and this has a spoolie on one side and then of course you have oof lovely angled um tip going on for the pencil i'm not going to try this on the skin cuz that's going to be a futile attempt at first impressions I'm 100% going to be playing with this makeup and creating some vertical content for you guys in the form of reviews, looks, hits and misses. You know, even though I've received this in PR, it's not like I'm just going to say I love things because I've received them from the brand. I will give my honest, honest, honest reviews and first impressions. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you to the Rare Beauty team and thank you to you guys once again. I'm going to move on with my day to other things. Uh but before that, I'm going to put all of this aside and figure out putting everything in place in my studio room as well cuz i want to do that right away <laughs> bye baby i love you quick look at my outfit it's got a nice open back stitch matching bag and i'm running slightly late so i'm running bye baby if i look like i'm sweating a little bit it is literally because i am um so here's what happened i got into my car and i thought i had about 10 kilometers left in the fuel that's more than enough for me to go to taj lands in and fill the fuel on the way back or even tomorrow turns out i was down to 2 kilometers on the fuel meter yeah and uh, that is not enough to get to taj lands in taj lands in is about 2 and a half kilometers from my house and obviously i can't just go there i have to come back home and i don't want to get stuck there and i want to use the ac and those kind of things literally was praying all the way to the closest petrol pump near my house i don't usually come to this one but i did today because i was like i just need to make it to the petrol pump i think i was sweating a little bit because i didn't put the ac on but also because i was so nervous and i was like make it to the petrol pump then no make it to the petrol pump then no make it to the petrol pump that's what my head was at um made it to the petrol pump never going to wait till the last 10 kilometers even ever 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 again going to be more unlazy about filling fuel I'm a little bit lazy about filling fuel. I'm not gonna lie. I keep thinking, but me karungi, but me karungi, which I am not like on anything else. Anyway, filling the fuel and heading to the function. A little bit later than I intended to, but um, I think I'm still okay. It's just a sangeet function, so it's quite chill. See you from there. <laughs> It's not so much an unflattering angle tonight, but I'm gonna try to light it up better for you, which I think I just did. It is 2:30 a.m. and I was really tired, so I left the sangeet what is considered early because everyone else was clearly enjoying. I think that's nipples one second. She goes in and out of our bedroom and frustrates me a little bit in the night, probably because the AC is on, and then sometimes she leaves the door flung open. And if you've watched our in what video did Jerry 
announce my pet peeve um, leaving doors open when the AC is on leaving lights and fans on when you're leaving the room leaving the tap on while you're brushing when they're not actively using the water some of my energy resource based pet peeves anyway I'm feeling rather chatty and happy and I thought I would come on here and talk to you I am so proud of the way my makeup has lasted I literally wore my makeup in the morning at whatever time 11 was it question mark and it is 2 35 ish a.m. we're doing good I'm gonna take off my Soho lashes from Verified and I tried this new Miss Claire glue which is clear I can link it down below for you if you'd like it was kind of nice the white one is definitely better I want to give this a few more uses um, my five feet three inches bullet lipstick has lasted through food one Red Bull and one virgin hot toddy no touch-ups and of course I had IRL when I got really sweaty while dancing um, I went ahead and applied some more IRL over there the airbrush powder works really well I considered for a hot second not going tonight purely because we're in the last 10 days of Ramzan and I was feeling like the timing of it according to Ramzan is obviously not great but then I realized listen it's a school friend's wedding and you know you're not going to get married again I don't want to land up missing her functions I've been invited to two functions and I really wanted to be there for both because I feel like when people get married that's the it's it's special right you remember these memories forever I mean I got married seven years ago and I'm still so clear in my head on who came who didn't come who truly showed up for me apart from just coming the people who were really really there for me some of whom are still in my life some of whom are not in my life and that's okay I still can appreciate them being there with me and for me at that time right we never take credit away from people for being there for you at one point something that I think a lot of people <laughs> forget um, I say that with a little bit of a with a little bit of irony uh, because uh, certain conversations were had tonight that were that made me feel like oh god you know what as much as I love to bring back the old times sometimes I'm just like life moves forward sometimes it's good not to not to go into the old times sometimes people give you reason to leave them behind sometimes you may give someone reason to be left behind and I think that if we were all just a little bit more introspective of everything what someone else is doing why someone else is doing read their actions not their words um, and even introspective of yourself like you think you were there for someone but were you truly are you crazy to have expectations out of a friendship you you know you spent time in um, is it okay to expect your friends to go the extra mile when you truly need them just in general wow midnight uh, not even midnight 2 a.m. <laughs> thoughts from Anam that you really don't need but um, just saying them out loud it's just saw my hairband kept on top of my hand towels which is why I just picked it up I didn't really need it because my hair was so super slicked up today with um, with the uh, product I really need to wash my hair which I'm gonna do tomorrow but I managed to take it the non hair wash for one more day I've been wanting to open up this gentle cleansing foam from Sulawasu you guys I think I've already told I love the gentle um, cleansing oil now I didn't use that the one I used right now was this face shop one um, the Sulawasa one is really nice and it's a mini I think that I have I definitely want to look up and order them during a sale or something but this cleansing foam also is a mini I think question mark I want to go ahead and try it because their products are so good they're so good and they take off my makeup and look after my dry skin so well um, a little later this particular week or maybe once I'm back from Bangalore because I am going to Bangalore with YouTube again uh, for a single day it's a day in and uh, out trip sorry once again I need to wash my face next week at some point once I'm back from Bangalore I want to film a beauty a couple of beauty based long form videos because I feel like it's been a while you guys don't end up watching them enough I know I get some requests for it but as per views come out and I feel vlogs and other fun videos and all of that come out so it's a back and forth in my mind but I guess one off I want to do it this always happens to me with mascaras it's sometimes a little sometimes it's a lot that's why no matter how good and how luxe and how whatever my makeup cleanser is 
this baby always comes to the rescue after because I take some on a cotton pad and I just give myself a couple of swipes here underneath and then I can see like mascara coming off it really 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 sorts my life and then I can go like literally as close and on the waterline as I want to which is something I obviously don't do with the oil because I don't want the cleansing oils or the balms to go inside the eye you know that's the difference truly this is where I'm at so yeah I'm so glad I went for this Sangeet tonight um, despite you know fighting about it a little bit in my own mind and nothing else uh, tomorrow is the reception tomorrow night which I'm also invited for and um, I think I'm definitely going to go I'm having a little bit of an outfit crisis on that because the outfit I wore tonight was sourced and the outfit that I sourced for tomorrow night is not fitting me um, so these are the pros and cons of you know like the advantages that I can source things obviously uh, but the disadvantage is that there are these hits and misses that are time bound let's use this toner today um, and I have a backup outfit, like I can just wear something from my own collection, it's not like I don't have clothes. Oops! It's not like I don't have clothes, I do, but I just thought I'd wear something different as opposed to something that I have already kind of worn and posted on the gram since I have the perks of the job on that front. Little P over here and there's, a, there's one coming somewhere here, I can feel the bump here, I don't know if it's showing on camera. Um, there is a new moisturizer here I was meaning to try, which is this one. It is from e.l.f. and I don't think it's available in India. I got it when they gave me all this PR in LA. There's so much of PR and even Cassandra's set of products that she gave me last year in San Francisco that I still haven't really deep dived into like Glow Recipe stuff and a few other brands that aren't available in India or at least weren't available in India at that time um, when I sit to, I keep saying I'm gonna sit to organize, I'm gonna sit to organize but it's really not a din ka kaam it is a process, it takes me time I'm giving myself like let's say half an hour every day or every other day depending on work and ghar ka kaam and this and that um, you know when I'm trying to organize one section of the house, one section of the house I've put a lot of moisturizer, but this feels really nice. First impressions, mmm, kal sumami proper checking bhi ye pata chalega, but very very nice. Ali mein raat ko kuch aur lagane wali thi na, I was supposed to give you a check in on something else tomorrow morning, shit. What was I supposed to give you a check in on tomorrow morning? I talked about it earlier today, now I'm fully blanking. Now I'm tired with the talking and the skincare and this and that I'm just gonna let this moisturizer sit on my face even though it's a little bit excess and I will see you in the morning hi hello I haven't vlogged at all today because it's been an insane day so last we got up was last night at about 2 30 a.m. I absolutely wholeheartedly regret having the Red Bull last night because it literally did not let me fall asleep till well past four to be honest i washed my hair this morning and then i didn't dry it out and um, my house helps sister got admitted in the hospital so she had to rush i had to clean things around the house i have a load of laundry that i was about to do and then i was like no i'll wait for jerry to come back because he takes a shower after he comes back from the warehouse the friend who sangeet we went for yesterday we need to go for her reception tonight i needed to complete filming two things for clients i posted on the youtube community page very recently about like it feels weird to not share this with you but because youtube has pretty much become my main platform over a period of time i mean Instagram and YouTube both but in terms of love I would say YouTube more and for the first time ever my team and I were discussing this and we realized that the number of inquiries um, for sponsorships have gone up on YouTube rather than Instagram which is really to say something because we have a decent that's Instagram has basically been my bread and butter for the past I want to say 10 years at this point right so it was a really interesting revelation when um, I was told that suddenly sponsorship inquiries on YouTube have gone up don't worry we never say no to everything that comes our way if anything my team and I are known <laughs> to 
upset people by saying no to more things than we say yes to. I'm really, really particular about that. And on the business front, that's actually something that lands up working against me, not in my favor. Because, you know, agencies that are giving you business represent both brands that you want to work with and brands that you don't want to work with. So sometimes they can be a little bit political about you're saying yes to this client and not this client you should work with us more across everything that kind of thing so we have a lot of that kind of management to do at our end um which can be a little tricky yes for sure but we politely manage to decline sometimes that pisses people off and then the people that understand are the kind of people that we continue working with um so i haven't obviously said yes to everything we've selected the brands that fit that work that i like that i'm actively trying um some new some repeats so i feel like that's interesting to me as well as a creator which makes sense business wise but my point is i put up that post on on, on the youtube community page and i was so happy to see your responses all of you were so encouraging and loving and lovely and you understand that this is my job and it just fills me with like so much gratitude to see so much support and love it genuinely means a lot um, I forgot to mention the main thing that happened today which is what slowed the shit out of my day so first of all in case you're wondering my nails I had to absolutely chop down all the way to the bottom because the longer nails started to break and two of them were like breaking off and I don't like the nails to not match one length so I'm officially completely bald that's what it feels like but the main thing that slowed the shit out of my day was that for the past 40 minutes we haven't had any electricity in our whole neighborhood which literally never happens ever 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 and i wanted to finish filming um for another video it's probably up by the time this particular video goes up i wanted to do a try on haul for the instagram brands made me do it i finished filming the entire video but the try on haul try on anam as i say uh needed to kind of you know go into it and i couldn't because i couldn't put my lights on because of the electricity being gone my hair was wet so i couldn't dry my hair down which i'm now finally doing but it's like a little past 5 p.m i think at this point and i'm on a i'm obviously on like a little bit of a time limit on a time constraint so let's see how much of what i managed to get uh, the reception tonight is a little past 9. I mean, I'm not planning to go so early anyway. So that's also totally fine. Um, and that's where I've been at today. Uh, I also just got my tickets for Bangalore. I posted on uh, my WhatsApp channel about how I might be coming to Bangalore. And then it got confirmed. And I was trying to see. So basically, I am going back to Bangalore with YouTube actually again for the second time. Uh, but this time, it's only like a one day in and out kind of a thing. So I thought that I would get to stay back till Saturday morning before after checking out. I was thinking of hosting a little lunch for Bangalore-based Wearfam because I realized when I went the first time through the DMs and stuff that you guys like. The, I, I seem to have a whole bunch of people in Bang from Bangalore. That that follow me uh, but then I came to know that it's a same day in and out this time and uh, they're not like I'm not being put up for the night and things like that and I don't know how many and how much I'll actually be able to plan on my own uh, within the short span of the next two days <laughs> so I decided that okay I'm gonna plan a separate special trip all the way whenever that happens uh, but for now it's just gonna be me landing into Bangalore going to the Google office doing the meetings and exercises that I need to be there for and then coming back to Bombay literally that same night um, the current plan is that Friday very late in the night Saturday early morning 12 30 a.m. Uh, I will be landing back into Bombay so that's what I'm working with at the moment those are the flight tickets that I got in my hand some time back um, which is also fine I feel like it's okay I'll come back to Bangalore separately I posted the Chennai vlog, me surprising my in-laws last night and again all your reactions on that was so sweet and so nice and I've been taking screenshots of comments non-stop and sending them on my Chennai fam group chat. Um, it is just all so sweet to see you guys responding the way you are because you ask about my in-laws every once in a while. Um, like when I posted the video from Easter, the mini vlog, I got some comments. Why aren't you with your in-laws and in, on Easter and this and that? But on 29th, um, so basically the earlier week, 
Friday to Wednesday I was between Chennai and Pondicherry and then um, Thursday was a chill day I mean there wasn't really anything planned for that day and then Friday I had the Godrej event that I needed to be in Bombay for if the Godrej event was not there in Bombay and obviously that was like a work paid association thing that I absolutely had to be there for um, and Godrej is a long time client of mine so I really do enjoy being there supporting them covering their events and stuff like that um, I would have stayed back in Chennai all the way till the following Sunday till Easter but because that was not the, you know, the Gozrej thing was there in the middle, I had to come back. So I literally flew back on Wednesday. Jerry and I were both in Bombay in common on Thursday. And then Friday on Good Friday, the day of my Gozrej event, that morning, uh, Jerry flew to Chennai. And uh, Easter was Sunday and he came back on Monday. So it was, we basically took turns in surprising his parents and there is a video of him surprising the parents as well but I don't know if I'm gonna share that without his consent because uh, like my family was like kind of chilling and lying down at the time so I don't want to do that right now but yeah it was it was nice it was interesting uh, the reactions were really sweet to watch both times and just all in all made for like such nice memories that I think we'll always look back at and you guys are like we should see you in Chennai more often and this and that and I would love to be in Chennai more often I would love to have my in-laws here more often more than anything else um, but it I mean you know they live there and we live here so we get whatever time we can amongst ourselves that's where the the set is at <laughs> I feel like my hair is done sometimes when I'm ironing my hair I forget about the back of it so I'm a little bit extra careful about that so I always give it a good like hand roll just to kind of see that kuch chut to nahi gaya and then if I need to ek do bar aur mein extra kar leti hu piche wali side pe I can go ahead and link in the hair iron I'm using down below if you want because this has lasted me this particular one from Iconic has lasted me I think years now and it is just genuinely very 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 good I'm in such 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 a pickle. It is 4 11 p.m. and I really was looking forward to going to two events this evening. I keep feeling like things have started happening around the same time that I'm supposed to be at events in and I don't want to make it sound like I'm making excuses but basically between the house situation and just trying to figure life situation, verified, YouTube, I hate missing YouTube uploads, but if I step out tonight for these events, it might mean that I miss a YouTube upload and I just hate not giving you guys three uploads a week. It bugs me. It bugs me to my core. Like I really, 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 absolutely, absolutely fucking hate it. And I am figuring a few things. Also, it's the first time that I've said yes to like five brands for sponsorships in a month which is a and something i'm super grateful for b it's also the first time like oh my god i don't want you guys to hate me for taking on so many sponsorships but i'm saying no to so many other things that i kind of need to make the the, the commerce of this the commercials of this make sense on some front um and as youtube grows which inshallah 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 it will you guys know my goal is like a million subscribers is the next milestone I would like to really really celebrate look at me jumping from 300 something to million in my head delusional girl um, I should be celebrating 500k somewhere in the middle hopefully soon inshallah but I'm just in that in that headspace where I'm feeling 
like I don't know how you guys are going to react to me taking on so many sponsorships because I never have taken on so many sponsorships before but that's also because typically speaking my inquiries for Instagram are so much higher than YouTube and it's kind of like catching up now let's see I don't want to jinx it I don't want to jinx it I don't want to jinx it alhamdulillah 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 please leave evil eye emojis for me down below in the comments this one in case you're confused I am just in this headspace where I want to make the most of everything I want to do justice to every brand I have said yes to all the products and brands needless to say I have been testing I have been using I have been trying and only if I really like them do I go ahead and make that hard commitment otherwise we like leave it soft and say we'll come back after trying that's typically how my team and I operate um, where I also am at the moment is that because there are these few sponsorships here and there I have to wait for the brands to okay those videos and then those videos go on pause so I can't upload them in time and then I'm like again going back to I don't want to miss uploads I don't want to miss uploads you guys want me to do more than three videos a week and I can if there were like zero sponsors to handle but I also need the sponsors to kind of keep things going um, it's a chicken and egg situation and I'm feeling a little bit tired tomorrow all day I'm gonna be on the road I'm going back I don't know if I mentioned this before sorry if I'm repeating I'm spending all of tomorrow in Bangalore with the YouTube team again they have some super super senior staff coming down from across the world and from Bombay I'm gonna be flying in and I'm not gonna vlog tomorrow so this vlog is definitely gonna end at some point today itself because I can't reveal anything from there even with the previous Bangalore trip I'm hoping that vlog is live by the time this video goes up I cut everything out from inside the Google office and stuff like that so I have to make sure that I respect what they need and so I'm just not going to vlog so that I don't have the stress of needing to get approval and that kind of stuff I'll come back and pick up the vlog cam on Saturday morning today is Thursday just for context um I need to check what I can do with this event situation, how much I can finish before leaving. I don't have glam on me, so I definitely do. Am I out of focus? No, right? Okay, all right. Um, I hate my head is everywhere. I'll just talk soon, otherwise, I'm going to more verbal diarrhea over here. Count one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty-eight, not bad. We're on our way for a little errand run. Mummy and daughter. I am back home. It is exactly 9.21 p.m. I'm gonna call it a vlog. I was gonna say I'm gonna call it a night, but I'm not. Because I'm quickly gonna check what I'm wearing tomorrow, what I need to do. I'm gonna be in Bangalore for less than 12 hours. I need to leave in the morning by around 9 a.m. Literally the flight I'm landing back on is landing in Bombay inshallah at around 12 30 a.m so like tomorrow night and I'm going all the way for like a 45 minute meeting <laughs> but I'm so grateful to still get the opportunity to do it so no complaints there it's just the time thing that's a little bit ironic in a sense I am gonna see you guys in the next one I missed my upload tonight but that's for different reasons things that go on on the back end are sometimes insane and uh, I need to figure my ish out there is gonna be a call for hiring new people at least one new person uh, soonish 
on my channels so stick around and i hope you're on the whatsapp channel i hope you're on instagram i hope you've subscribed all the three main platforms that i use i will see you in the next one i need to go do this stuff and sleep early wake up early and make it to the flight there will be a mini vlog shorts from tomorrow which is definitely gonna be up before this video goes up so linking it down below go check it out i love you very much you know i'm always reading liking hearting and responding to each and every one of you let me know your thoughts on this particular vlog down below in the comments and i will see you very soon i've said bye thrice now bye